This video will cover the overall dimensions for your end table project. To get started with this, bring in the front view of your end table assembly and change the scale to one to eight or one eighth of its original size. Drop the front view in the lower left corner, put the top view above it and the right side to the right of the front view. <laughs> then right click each view, select show and hide and show the hidden lines. This will help somebody understand how this table is assembled by examining the drawing and looking at how the parts fit together in relation to one another. Once you've done that, you can put in the overall dimensions. Let's start with the top view. We'll zoom in and we want to show that this part is 14. And again, we got to go corner to corner, 14 inches long excuse me, 14 inches wide by 18 long. Now you'll notice that my dimensions on here are going to the nearest thousandth of an inch. To change this to inches fractional, select the wrench on the right side of the screen and change your primary units to inches fractional. Then we'll place the rest of the dimensions. Let's do the overall height of the table, and that's shown in the right side view, or the front view. And we're going from the very bottom of the leg to the very top of the table. That should be 23 and 3 quarters. Then we'll show from the bottom of the leg to the top of the leg is 23 inches, and that's the overall leg length. We should also put in the overall length of the apron as well as the short apron. There's some other dimensions that we added in as well, such as the thickness of the leg and the width of the leg. And we're placing this in here as a typical dimension, meaning that you can assume all of the legs are the same. We'll say PYP, uh, and we'll put a space in front of that so it's not right on top of the one and a half. Uh, and that looks pretty good. That's showing us that we can assume that all of these legs are one and a half inches wide. Uh, we'll put one in the right side view as well. So somebody looking at this might be subjective and think, well, are they a square leg or not? Uh, we'll validate that by placing another dimension here, and saying PYP. Some people might think this is overkill, but uh, sometimes the legs aren't or are not perfectly square. Uh, so we'll clean this up a little bit, just running the dimensions up slightly so they're not on top of each other. <laughs> then uh, we can put in a dimension showing that all of our aprons are three and a half inches wide. We'll place that here. Flip the arrows to the outside of the dimension. And we'll put in again PYP, noting that it's a typical dimension and they're all the same. That looks pretty good. And then Finally, our overhang. We need to note that this hangs over here by one inch. It's being a little bit annoying. Place it here and then drag it to the right and also place in here that this is typical. That looks pretty good. Now we did not dimension the fillets. Uh, that's all right because they're dimensioned in the individual part drawings. 
uh, typically you'd either dimension here or note uh, that the fillets are a specific size. Uh, but for what we're trying to teach you guys here with just getting some overall dimensions down, uh, this would give somebody a pretty good idea of how to manufacture this table just by looking at the drawing uh, and deciphering how things are related to one another. If you have any questions on this, make sure to ask, and I would be more than willing to help you with uh, anything that you don't quite understand. Keep up the good work, and we'll see you in the next video.